can't be happening. <laughs> Though my power is in constant flux, I have always kept a reserve for this very moment. It was a true test of your prowess. You have done well. There is one thing I must ask. By sundering the world into 14 shards, the ether of all living beings too was divided. This reduction would in theory allow us to more easily interact with Dynamis. Having seen mankind brought to the very precipice of extinction, you wished for us to develop a means to overcome despair. You believed we had the potential, and sundered all creation to see it fulfilled. To deliver us to that swirling maelstrom of Dynamis in which our foe hides, and grant us the power to defeat her once and for all. Is this not true? It is as thou sayest. Twas the trial to which I subjected mankind, and it hath led to untold bloodshed and suffering. There was no kindness, nor justice in the tragedy I wrought. When confronted with the almighty Zodiac, my only recourse was rend him and the world asunder, that his power be diminished for a time. And so it came to pass. Now you, my chosen, have surpassed my expectations. Surpassed me. I entrust the fate of the universe unto you. This crystal contains the memory of Meteon's passage through the stars. Deliver it unto the Loperets. They will guide you to her. Though they may be capable of crossing great distances, there is a vast difference between travelling to the moon and the furthermost reaches of the Great Expanse. And unlike Meteon, we cannot simply soar on waves of dynamis to our destination. Indeed. To make such a journey would require an astronomical amount of ether. But a solution lieth close at hand. Of course! Yes, my child. Ever since I became the Will of the Star, the ether drawn here had slowly crystallized. They who have answered my call know it well. While I have remained hidden, it hath become the embodiment of the planet's will in my place. A faceless, omnipotent force of nature. The Mother Crystal. Our final hope. Alas, I can do no more. The fulfillment of this task doth fall to you, my chosen. Now, heed these words. Darkness and light, despair, and hope, as go with one, so go with the other. Become light, become hope. I have a gift for thee. Come closer. Long have I searched for a means to safeguard the future of this star. Though I knew failure after failure, by recalling thy tales and my promise to thee, I found the strength to carry on. Though the world is ever-changing, 
Thy thirst for adventure hath never waned. Thine unshakable resolve never ceases to amaze, to inspire. As a mark of my gratitude, I bestow this final gift. Thou dost possess the crystal of Azam, yes? As Hydaelyn, I reside over the forces of stasis, tranquility, peace. The laws which impart stability to existence itself. I will weave this self-same power into the crystal, granting thee mastery over matter, to give form to the formless. Use it wisely, or it will not last indefinitely. As thou hast seen on thy journey through the ethereal sea, souls are drawn to thee. Mayhap this trait will prove to be a boon rather than a hindrance. It is thy hopes and prayers that enable Asm's invocations and give them life. So keep them close. But pray, remember this. When the way forward is hidden, even from the mind's eye, look not to the invocation, but within yourself. These were the words of the crystal's original bearer. With that, my work is finished. Fulfill our promise. Right the wrongs committed when the world was yet whole. Silence the song of oblivion. Teach her a brighter melody. Show her our journey is far from over. It is I who should thank thee for all thou hast done and may yet accomplish. Long after I have gone, now not even my soul remaineth. My love will be with you forever, my dearest children.